Another forte of Johnny's was to take an American song and change it into a Latin song. When you asked me to do Latin music to a, on an English record, you have to remember that the Latin beat, which is the main thing, and you have to have it if you're going to do Latin. If you don't do it this way, it'll never be a good Latin record, never. When you play jazz or anything in English, you know, your, your beat is in. So that's your American beat. Now in Latin we have what we call the clave, the clave beat, which means the key. The beat has, this is the key. And we have to write everything to this beat. Everything. Every Latin. So if you don't do that beat to Latin, to an English song, it's not going to make it. I was feeling so bad. I asked my family doctor just what I had. I said, doctor. People like Duke Ellington heard what Johnny was doing and liked what he heard. Like for instance, uh, Duke Ellington, he used to come to see me in uh, Detroit. And he used to say, I like the beat. What kind of beat is that that you do to that music? He says, I can't get it. So I told him, that's the Latin clave beat. You know, we have to write our music in clave. He said, oh, I'd like to have some of my stuff done in clave beat. So I said, sure, I, I'll do one for you. So one day he came into the club where I was working, and I says, how you doing, Duke? He says, fine, fine. Hey, Johnny, come here. I heard what you did with my record. I love that stuff. Can I do some more of that? I says, well, I can do it, but I think you'd probably be a master at that once you do it. Johnny, for me, was one of the greatest Latin band in those days. I'm talking 1970s and 80s. I was introduced uh, to him by a friend, and I heard his band. He was um, one of the best bands I heard in, in Los Angeles. And I became a fan. His uh, drummer, Jerry, was my teacher for a while in percussion. So I used to go everywhere uh, to dance. I mean, I'm, a, I'm a dancer, I'm beside of a musician. I'm a, I like to dance. And I remember Mambo Nights, Thursday nights at a place called the Virginia's Nightclub. It was the place in town to go, to dance, well-dressed. Uh, it was Johnny Martinez. And little by little, we became acquainted, and uh, he um, allowed me to sit in with the band singing uh, from time to time and we used to talk about um, the music about how it was evolving in the 70s and everything was changing like because he used to say that nothing remains the same it changes that's where i find the big change and to take it back to to johnny was you know we went to the clubs and we really you know it's a high we we got we got pulled along. It was, it was like he'd build the energy. And a good band knew how to do that. You start mellow, and then you build it, and build it, and build it. And then once you finish your set, they're like, Whew, I need a drink. And guess what? Everybody goes over to the bar. The floor would probably have about two or three couples. And then everybody would be at the bar, six or seven deep. Well, the club made money, so 
the guy was happy. 